everyone, in this video I have a crafty scrapbook haul to share with you from Hey Little Magpie. They had their big 50% off summer sale. Actually by the time this video is published it may still be going on. They tend to have it go on until everything is kind of gone kind of thing. By this point however some of the, you know, the good stuff may have gone, especially as Royal Mail um, took some time delivering my parcel. Not the fault of Hey Little Magpie at all, all the fault of Royal Mail. So yes, this is coming out way later than I had intended it to. But yes, ignore the Carpe Diem thing, that's just to cover up my address, but let's just jump straight into this. During last year's sale, I went absolutely mad and just clicked on all of the, all of the things, partially because the, um, the website was struggling with all the traffic, so I was just kind of like, ah! buy all the things. I was a little calmer this year and I think I've been quite good. So let's just uh, jump in. This is the free pencil by the way in case you're wondering that comes with Hey Little Magpie orders. I have a few of these now. So I got some bits and pieces from Dear Lizzie Stargazer. I think I've got a paper as well but I'll show you the papers at the end. This was one of those collections that you know it comes out and you kind of like it but you just don't want to pay full price for it kind of thing that sounds awful but yeah when there are a few of the bits in the sale i thought i would grab them so i've got the six by six paper pad let's just open this up properly yes this is the six by six paper pad cute little deers lemons lots of just little nice things in here and it's not there's like some cutesy things but not too cutesy for me i really like those clocks there that blue with the florals is lovely so yes just various kind of nice nice things in the six by six then there is the ephemera pack pack of 40 it's one of those ones that has two little things like this with smaller and bigger ones as it's got copper foiled accents i'm just going to show you on the back there what's inside just to give you an idea obviously ignore all the prices that are on here because they were all half price or some of them are a bit more than that actually i'm not sure but yes gives you an idea of what's in there and then the 6x12 sticker sheet I do like this girl with the BU and the blue hair I think she's marvellous and I do now have the Dear Lizzie sticker book as well so there's lots of stuff that's going to match for that you are magic today is the day first of all you're really pretty find true love count the stars be freeze the camper van's a bit random but I kind of like it but as I've discussed with many people this year is the year of the random random things in scrapbook collections anyway conservatory as well also or greenhouse um hey girl camera just yeah and down here I like this little floral border that's you can just see it under the writing there be good say hi to new adventures nice little phrases there so yes just like obviously not nearly the full collection but just a couple of bits from it then just a couple of bits from Amy Tangerine or oh, what's it called is it Sunshine and Good Times? I think that's what it's called. I think I got a paper or two as well from it as well. But I have the sticker book, which it's all the, uh, the vinyl-y plastic stickers, I think. I love all those hearts there. It's very similar to what's in the Amy Tan, you know, the big designer sticker books as well, but just some bigger elements and stuff as well. The tiger, again, random, but I do kind of like that tiger. And yes, the ephemera pack as well, which has also got gold foil accents. I'm just going to show you it there and as I keep saying ignore the price because it was not that price but yes I like the the words in there love lucky yay my favorite word so yes there is those these are kind of random but I just thought they were really cute they are from pretty little studio and I feel like they are my only things I've ever had from pretty little studio I'm not 100% sure but these are from potpourri and it says something underneath that I can't read but there's just these little sort of banners and frames in this really lovely watercolour rainbow colours. I just I just thought they were super cute. I th mostly for journaling I think I'm going to use these for but just how sweet are they and they were really really cheap. And these are the same kind of thing, same pretty little studio poopery range or whatever and just these little speech bubbles again with the watercolour effect. So oh, I didn't know some had words on. We've got hello, our little heart, happy and obviously blank ones hearts 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 i just think those are really cute bff so yes and again really really cheap i picked up this pink paisley wild child six by six pad not that i have anything of this collection at all but i just find the pink paisley six by six pads in particular really useful using them in other projects and stuff i don't love everything in this paper pad especially not this one there that's very much not me at all but there are some things in here I just think are quite pretty and just will be useful for various things I love those hearts there and where's it gone the paper with the eh, that one with the clouds I think is really pretty so yes there is that 
this confession time was not in the sale this was just lingering in my basket because i have a thing about mambi chips i don't know why and because i just i just i was like you know what i'm just gonna leave it in the basket and order it because i really like it i will say in the pictures the the glittery elements because it's obviously black and blue this it looked more like like it was black and mint so i'm mildly disappointed about that but you know they always say you know your screen resolution may show a different color yada 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 so i'm not that annoyed and i do love the color blue so it's not that much of a deal i just would i would have preferred mint but never mind but yeah i just i do like the black and blue mix you just got a mix of things but like that really i just yeah i do love my mabby chips next i have this vicky booted ephemera pack this is from all the good things i have a weird thing with this collection like i never got anything from it when it first came out nothing against it but like i've just gradually over time got more and more bits from this collection and so when i saw this in the sale i thought well i might as well pick it up because now i've just got like not all the collection but as i said a decent amount of it so yes thought it would be good to pick these up quite a nice chunky pack of ephemera in there and that is what is in there inside this pack it's very hot and i'm struggling with my words and under these studio lights it's very very warm but you don't care but anyway yes that is what is in this pack and some thickers i can't do a scrapbook haul without some thickers these say coastline they've got this hollow foil on the top and then their pink foam around the edges i think these were from pink paisley summer lights i am not a hundred percent sure on that but i think that's where they're from if not maybe the wild child i don't know but it doesn't really matter that much but yes i just think they're a bit different and a bit fun and stuff so yes there's those and then some phrase thickers because they're just my faves so i've got the heart of home which is jen hadfield i think these i thought were foam but they're actually chipboard but it's okay i'll get over it um they've got heart of home grow to grow together thankful heart stronger together home sweet home love grows here and family gathering and then the all the good things one the biggie booting again so we've got all the good things obviously note sweet 23 life is good here shine on my happy yeah i don't know what that's about but yes and then little flourishes and embellishments and whatnot. That's clearly a much better one than that one. That's a little bit, I wouldn't say I'm disappointed. It's just a bit meh, but it's fine. And I do like, you know, pre-made titles. And finally, I have my papers. I didn't really go by collection or anything. I just picked up what I like the look of. So I just have one from Simple Stories Summer Days, just because I like these clouds with like the newspaper stuff inside the clouds and the grid in some of them. I just thought those were pretty cool. On the other side, we've got these little sort of cartoony ice cream things, but I definitely love in that cloud side from pink paisley page evans turn the page a paper that i do not have because i don't think this one was in the 12 by 12 paper pad and that's what i got instead of individual papers from that collection so this is paper 23 and just kind of have these lines going in different ways the other side is in the paper pad so yes i definitely picked it up for that side from one canoe to creekside just really like these roses like these wooden effect roses on the on the really dark blue background I'm not sure if I'm going to fussy cut them and use them as embellishments or keep the background because I really love that colour. The other side we just have these really nice little crosses and stuff and I love the branding strip on this one with all these little little canoe and a thermos and a little acorn. Just super cute. Okay, I messed up that Amy Tangerine collection I showed you earlier is Hustle and Heart, not Sunshine and Good Times. I'm an idiot. Never mind. Anyways, I've noticed that because it says it there. But as I said, so yeah, this paper is from Hustle and Heart. It says, is it called In Alignment? Is that what it's called? Anyways, just nice navy with the stripes there. And then this one with like the scattered dots kind of thing definitely bought it for that side obviously and then from that same collection this paper which has the foiled like that just how pretty is that i will probably cut it apart rather than use it as one big background or something because i think i will get more use of it out of it that way but yes very pretty got two dear lizzie stargazer papers just to match the other little bits i got but i, I didn't want to go too nuts on the papers because my paper collection at the moment is admittedly ridiculous anywho this one is called little things i just love the color of that i love it i might fuzzy cut those but they would be weird embellishments at the same time so i don't know but the color is just so pretty and then this one outside as well actually is really lovely i always i just have a thing for stripes that you know were a bit wonky like they've just been brushed on i just ah, i love it and the color is pretty 
And then this one from Stargazer, Find Joy. I just thought that would be really, really handy with all these little cut apart things on there. Just, yes, handy for scrapbooking with the collection in general. And then this on the other side is also very, very pretty. And I like the little peaches on the branding strip from Vicky Booten, all the good things, pretty words. Just look, I just like scripty fonts on papers. I don't know what it is. I just really, really love it. I don't know what it is about the Vicky Booten paper. I think it's made for being mixed media because it feels heavier than the other papers, but yes. The other side looks like this, which I actually, not my usual thing, but I do quite like it, but I just love that. And then last two things, some papers from Maggie Holmes' Carousel. This one is called Romance. I just like the wood grain, really. I just, yeah, I like it. Don't really like the swans on the other side. Not my thing at all, but I just, a nice wood grain paper is always handy to have. And this one from Carousel, which on this, what is, I don't know how to describe that, but it doesn't matter because I bought it for this side with the stars because I just sort of faded grid paper in the background, couple of little splatters and stuff. I just really, really love it. So yes, there's the papers. And there we go. So there's my little haul from the Hey Little Magpie Summer Sale with Amy Chan. Hustle and heart, not sunshine and good times. It's weirdly annoyed me so much that I got that wrong. These things annoy me, I don't know why. But anyway, yes, there it is. What I'm gonna do is link just directly to the shop. So if the summer sale is still going on when you've seen this video, there will be a big banner on the shop homepage about the sale. So yes, instead of just linking to the sale in case it's not there or something, that's what I'm gonna do. Individual items will be impossible because I know that a bunch of these are already out of stock, I'm afraid. Other than that, yes, there we go. So thank you so, so much for watching. Please uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions or anything to say. Of course, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Really, really, really helps me out and I really appreciate it. And yeah, okay, I'm going to go put this away. Love putting craft stuff away. It's so enjoyable. Anywho, yes, okay, I'm going. Thank you.